Hello, everybody. Andrea Tarowski here. So I'm actually going to show you guys kind of behind the scenes what I do all day because some of you may or may not be wondering what I do as a teacher, as a tutor all day long working from home because usually um, when I tell people that I tutor, they automatically assume that I tutor in person. But then when I say to them, actually, I tutor online. Um, their next question is, oh, how do you tutor online? And I tell them, well, I've had my own company, um, Dental Well Tutoring, for the past 12, almost 13 years now. So, you know, I've been tutoring for a long time, but more recently, I've been doing it more, more um, full-time. But I don't actually tutor, tutor every single day, but I do prep work pretty much every single day. But I specifically tutor on Sunday mornings, for my dental hygiene students and my dental assisting students for the board exam. So the big courses that I do have are the board exam prep courses for dental hygiene students, dental assisting students, and then more recently, I um, uh, developed this Dental L student program for students who are in their first semester of either dental hygiene school or dental assisting school. because. For both dental hygiene and dental assisting, I remember it would have been so nice to have a tutor to simply just answer my question when I had a question at nine at night while I was trying to study or, you know, Saturday morning. If I just had one question, you know, to have them explain something to me, it would have been so nice to have my teacher, you know, answer my emails or have my teacher, you know, not check her email only every night for half an hour. So the next time I heard from her, well, I actually saw her in class. So what was the point? So um, that's the newest program that I have, which is the Dental Health Student Program, where I actually help students throughout the entire program. So I just started this about a month ago. So it goes from semester one until they actually finish the program. So it's kind of nice. And since I've been teaching the Board Exam Prep Academy anyway, I I do have the full curriculum that I teach them as is. So it only made sense for me to take that, that um, full curriculum that I have and input it into the Dental L student program so that other students can benefit from the same things, plus have tutoring one-on-one -on -one with me online anytime, because that is something that I must say I pride myself in the most and that is if a student emails me I will get back to you it, it might not be that second but it will be by that evening because sometimes I do work at a dental office also you know we're just helping out if a hygienist calls in sick you know something so I may not always be in my home or in front of my computer or in front of my laptop or I'm tutoring. So if a student emails me, you know, it's only fair to assume that it may take me a couple hours or that evening to respond back. But the best part is that if I do see your email, I will answer back right away. You don't have to wait two days, three days, a week, two weeks. I will answer anything. The simplest of question to the more complex. And I've had, of course, a little bit of both. The simple ones and then those questions where are four or five paragraphs long where I'm thinking okay oh my god um, okay but anyways I did say that I would email anybody anytime so that is something that I do like to do and I think that students really like that that they know that if they have a question they can email me anytime um, all students who are part of um, Dental L also have their own private Facebook group also. So if for some reason I'm not answering them that minute, but they do have a, have a, a question, they are more than welcome to post their question in, into the private Facebook group also. And then all of the other students can help them out too. So I find that that helps huge. Um, uh, the private Facebook group I've been doing now, it's been under six months, but it's awesome. Students love it. But anyways, so behind the scenes, um, so I've been working on actually three courses. Um, the, as I mentioned, the Board Exam Prep Academy for dental hygiene students, for dental assisting students, and then I have the Dental L student program. So for all of my courses, I do actually update them every few months. So when you sign on, 
you're not simply signing on to a, to a course that I last updated two years ago. I literally update it every few months with new PowerPoints, with new mock exams, with new videos, you name it. So this is why I am busy and this is why I don't work as often at the dental office as I used to because I simply can't do both. But I take that as a good thing because I actually help students pass the board exam and help pass their, their um, uh, classroom tests and classroom exams in school. So it's awesome and I, and I love it. But let me just kind of show you guys. So I'm just gonna share my, my uh, screen because some of you were actually wondering what that's all about. So I'm curious kind of what screen I'm showing you guys because I now have two monitors. So let me just kind of move this over because I'm kind of afraid I'm not showing you guys my actual screen here. Um, let me just make sure. Oh, okay, so now I'm actually showing the wrong one. So let me show the right one, there we go. Okay, so this is the screen that I'm showing you where right now I am logged in to the Dental L student program. So this is it. Um, I just sort of have a quick PDF file here explaining all of the topics that we do talk about in semester one in the Dental L student program. So it's kind of like you're taking the program online, but I don't, I don't actually give you any tests, homework, assignments, none of that, but I do help you for all of your tests, homework, and, sci um, and sciences, and assignments that you have in your dental hygiene or dental assisting program at school. So um, um, actually, that's kind of too small for me to read, but we are going through a lot. We are going through anatomy, um, microbiology, um, dental hygiene practice, um, because this is for the dental hygiene um, program specifically, but I do outline it all here for the students. Um, but if you scroll down here, so semester one is all module one stuff pretty much. So this is everything that I kind of talk about now. So I do hold live sessions about two Sundays a month, and the live sessions aren't predetermined either. So it depends on what the students need, need help in and the questions that they have. So for example, um, this Sunday we're doing a session on instrumentation. Next Sunday we're going to go through dental materials and dental procedures because I have a student in dental hygiene that is taking her preclinical um, instrumentation test. Um, actually, three or four students who are in their preclinical at the moment. So it made sense for me to teach instrumentation to them. But then on the other side of, of uh, things, I have my dental assisting students who are learning about what they will be assisting on. Hence come the dental materials and the dental procedures. And that's the main thing um, of being a dental assistant. So that session is in about two weeks. Um, sorry, uh, one week. Um, because this Sunday we are doing the instrumentation and then the Sunday after that we are, we are doing um, dental materials and dental procedures. And the best thing is, is that Pretty much all of, all, of, all of the topics that I teach are good for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students too. So um, some are of course more specific to the dental hygiene students and then some are more specific to the dental assisting students, but they do sort of help everybody. And I love that because I used to tutor one person at a, at a time. So I was pretty much working from eight in the morning till 11 at night. But then, you know, I kept losing my, my um, voice for one thing. And then I kept on sort of tutoring the same topics. And I thought to myself, well, how about I teach, say, 10 students at, at a time, the one topic, and then they can all sort of talk amongst themselves if they need help or have questions. So that's actually nicer for me and nicer for you because when I tutor you, I'm not exhausted because I'm tutoring um, typically more than one person at a time. So it's, it's just sort of things that I've learned over the many years of tutoring and teaching. Um, but just to quickly show you guys again, so this is all inside the Dental L student program. So as you can see, you will all learn everything, right? My students learn a little bit of everything, but the best thing is, is that we do hold live sessions twice a month, sometimes more, if you have questions. So you don't have to think, well, I'll, 
wait until the next Sunday to ask Andrea a question, but I kind of have a question now. No, send me an email anytime. I'm on Facebook a lot. Send me a message anytime because I am so happy to help because this is now what I do full time, right? And I love it. So I just... This is what I like to do, and I am so happy to help students because if you're happy, I'm happy. So yeah, so this is the full sort of dental um, student program. There's a lot in here, and this is for your entire time in either the dental assisting or dental hygiene program. So the moral of the story is, like this is behind the scenes, okay? So you can see that this takes time. Um, in fact, I'll show you guys quickly here. Um, I'm just going to stop my screen share for a second. I'll show you guys how I made some of these lovely sort of images. I'm trying to click something, but there we go. Um, okay, let me just show you guys here because I use program, which I'm sure you've never heard of, um, but it's called um, Canva. So I go to canva.com and let me just show my screen again for you guys. There we go. So you see this lovely image here. So this is how I make all of sort of these images. So when you click, it takes you to another page where I have the PowerPoint or PDF files. I have a video or two. Um, this unit is still being updated, so there's not too much to see there, to be honest. Let's find a better one here for you guys. And it's hiding a tab that I need. Let me see if I can move this over. Um, let's see, because I wanted to show you guys another tab. Uh, sorry guys, it was hiding something, there we go. Let's do radiography, because everybody loves that one. So see how it has your um, video, some info, more videos, me again, hello, some more videos here, um, mock exams, which are awesome. So it does have a little bit of everything, but I make all of these, okay? So when I teach, I'm not the type of teacher that, sim that simply reads out of the textbook. I have literally made, sorry, my dog's is barking. I have literally made all of these PowerPoints, all of these mock exam questions, because I used a variety of textbooks. I'm just sort of looking at my bookshelf here. At least 25 textbooks, like I use them all, and they're all newer, updated textbooks too. So I take away the work and the stress from you. So you don't have to read through all the textbooks, all of your notes, none of that. You can look on here, and have everything you need. And we are talking together at least two Sundays a month. So if you have questions, need anything, I am here to help. Plus, of course, if you guys think of anything at you know seven in the morning, nine at night, 11 at night, whatever, if I'm not sleeping, if you send me an email, then I will answer you back to help you. So, you know, it's just awesome. There's lots of stuff, but you know, this is behind the scenes. So all of this stuff, you guys, takes time, right? So I made the images from Canva, like here, like I, I can change the colors. I like to do things like that. I can change the colors here. Let's just pick gray again. I can change the wording. And then I just have to save this. I go into um, Weebly.com. Um, that's what I use to make the websites. I, I just sort of drag the image here, right over here, and then that's it. And then, um, like I said, as soon as you click, it has everything here for you. So again, I had to upload all of these PowerPoints, PDFs, websites, videos. I just input them here. And then that way, as soon as you log into the membership login area, you have it all right there. Plus, I can quickly show you guys the Facebook page. I have a few different Facebook accounts here. Okay, good. So I am on the right one. So I have a private Facebook page for Dental L students only, where, as you can see, I post often because there's always updates. There's always things to um, talk about. So if you're part of either the board exam prep academy or the dental L student program you have full access to this private Facebook page you can post ask 
ask uh, questions. There's contests. I post pictures. You know, there's all kinds of fun things, right? Because studying shouldn't always be hard. You know, studying shouldn't always be reading from a textbook, having no life. That's it. Studying should be a little bit fun. So I, so I do sort of make things fun for you guys by uploading pretty images. You know, I change things up by offering, um, you know, text, um, PDF files, um, videos, there's mock exam questions, you know, what images. So I do try to mix things up for you so that when you're, um, when you're studying, it's not so boring and so plain because if you're bored and fall asleep, you're not studying, right? And if you're not studying, you feel guilty and anxious because you haven't studied. So this is what I do all day long is I prep, make new mock exam packages, make new videos such as this one, new PowerPoint files, everything. Because the more questions that students have, that tells me that I'm not teaching something. That tells me that I'm missing the mark on something. And then I have to look it up create a PowerPoint document for that. So then that's one less set of questions that you will have. Because if I have a PowerPoint, a video, a PDF file for that, you don't have to ask the question. You learn it, you study it, and then you feel awesome because you feel so smart after learning everything, right? So just kind of how these things work. Um, and I'll show you guys inside of the Board Exam Prep Academy for dental hygiene students. So I do have a welcome video here. I think my speakers are probably off. Hello. Oh, no, they're on. There you go. So the welcome video. Um, any live sessions that I do have coming up, I post in the private um, Facebook page. So then that way only students who have paid for the courses have access to the full tutoring. So that's right here and right here. Um, all of the past video sessions that I have. I just changed the password, so let me see. Oops, I typed pretty fast, so. There we go. So in all of the past sessions and videos I have here also, um, up to this year. So I don't have them if they're like three or four years old, but up until this um, year. So there's tons, right? And there's always more coming because we do at least two a month. Um, what else can I show you guys? So I showed you guys inside of the Prep Academy. Where's my dental assisting one? Because this one took me a while to upload because I hadn't uh, updated it for a while. So let me just log into that on a separate screen here. Um, I recently got a new monitor. Um, so I have two now. So one over here and one over here and it's so helpful for times like this when I want to quickly log into my screen and I can show you guys. So let me just move it over here. There you go. So this is the Dental Assisting Board Exam Prep Academy and this one took some time because um, admittedly, I didn't update it for a while, for at least six months and I like to do it every two or three. But again, all of these images I made myself everything. Let's just click on um, operative for a second here so I can just sort of walk you guys inside. So look, there's all of the files here to read, to study. The images here, which if you click play, you see tons. Um, this is a smaller unit. Um, see some more images. I post images all the time because I find it makes things not seem as overwhelming um, because I do have a lot of info here. Um, here's one of the larger um, units on anesthetics. So there's a lot of stuff here, but I want you all to know everything you have to know for the board exam. Like if I only had two, say, files, it, lo it looks a lot less overwhelming, but you won't pass the, the exam because you won't know everything you have to know, right? But again, I like to add a lot of images here so it just looks nicer. It seems less overwhelming, so then that way, if you're ever thinking, okay, I've done a lot of um, reading, just look at some of these images that may help. And of course, the videos are, are all right here. So let's say you were studying for local anesthetic, and then you said, okay, I've done a lot of reading. 
look to find the past video on local anesthetic, which is right here. Um, and it's an hour and three minutes long, right? So I do ask you questions first for all of our tutoring sessions. I do ask you questions, um, show images, we talk about it, all kinds of things. So you will learn a lot, trust me. But this is behind the scenes. Like this is what I do all day, every day. Um, again, I don't just simply take the textbook and, you know, put it on the computer. I, I have to type up all of these things. So a quick example here, um, let's just do this one. The code of ethics for the dental assistant. I typed up this stuff, you guys. So it's, it's not just simply me taking a picture of the pages in the textbook and putting them on here. I typed this up. It takes time, but I love it. And another thing that I do too is say I'm looking at two or three different textbooks for a topic. I do not type up things word for word. I type up things in such a way where you will actually understand them. So I could take two pages in a textbook and I could type up maybe a paragraph or two and that's it, but, but that houses all of the more important information because trust me, the last thing you wanna do is go through the whole textbook, right? You don't want to. So this is what I do as a tutor and a teacher is I sort of type up things, make it easier to understand you read it and then you study it and then we talk about it at um, the live tutoring sessions that we have on Sundays. So after you read something, watch a previous video, study it, and then we talk about it. Then you say, oh, okay, I'm starting to understand this now. So that is what I love doing as a tutor and a teacher to watch a student not know something and then after going through all of those steps of you know studying the notes um watching the videos going through the mock exams coming to our live tutoring sessions asking questions having me answer them and then that student says oh my god i'm starting to understand this now so i had actually saved them countless hours of useless study time because there's nothing more useless than reading pages in a textbook over and over and over again and then reading your notes from school over and over and over again that's useless you will get annoyed because you won't have a life so having to sort of mix it up by looking at a new set of notes in here, you know, the dental L courses that I have, a new set of notes with the same things, with the same knowledge, but sort of worded in a different way. And then watching the previous videos that I have had, and then having me teach you the actual topic, you will have saved yourself countless hours of just studying, 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 because after that point, you have actually understood everything. So it's awesome. Students love it. And I only wish that more students heard about it sooner because I have had students sign up saying, I wish I had heard about you sooner. Or for my board exam prep academy courses, unfortunately, students have signed up to my course after taking another tutoring course. And then they say things to me like, well, I signed up for this person's course, but then I, I, I never heard from them again. I needed help. They wouldn't email me back. We had tutoring sessions in the evenings, but when I have to work, I couldn't attend the tutoring sessions and they were only up there for me to watch for two weeks, but that's not enough time. You know, I've heard all kinds of things. So that is why um, I personally feel that Dental L Tutoring is awesome because I listen to what students tell me. This is why all of this you have until you take and pass the board exam. In the um, Dental L student program, same thing, you have all of this until you pass your full dental assisting or dental hygiene program. So that's two or three years later. You have everything until you pass. So I can't say that about any other tutoring programs out there because how they see it is they aren't making the money. 
if they have the same student for two or three years, right? See, I don't care because I am here to help people. And my hope is that more people will sign up because I have everything for you for two or three years or more, you know, depending on when you pass. So take your time, study properly, ask me questions, email me. This is why I am here. So let me just stop my screen share. So that is all the fun stuff, you know, behind the scenes of dental L tutoring. This is what I do all day long, Saturdays, Sundays. I love it. So please email me anytime um, and keep on watching uh, the videos that I have on YouTube. And if you have any comments, feel free to um, also comment. That would be awesome. And I will see you guys all in the next video. See you later.